Okay everyone, this one is a little bit different. It is made in direct response to a request for assistance. So not going to do the normal lead in, uh, just going to focus on one specific function and that is jumping. So basically a character was jumping but th the character is being able to like kind of float around rather than just do a one-off jump. So basically what has to be done is Unity has to know that the character is jumping. So even though there's motion going on the screen, you still have to check for that. And that is how you keep, um, how you can control the jump. So it's like a one-off, or maybe you can even do a double jump, but you don't want them floating all over the place. So all I did was I uh, created an object. So as you can see, I just used one of the images from one of my other projects. Um, it has transform component, sprite component, I added a script, jump control, which is what we're going to get into. It has a rigid body, so since you're jumping around, I presume it has a rigid body. Uh, I left the gravity scale in place, that way it does the work for you. So if you give it vertical uh, momentum, then the gravity scale will automatically adjust for that. So you don't have to do the vertical uh, ascent and descent. You just do the ascent, and then the uh, rigid body uh, does the descent for you because of that and there is a box collider. So what uh, the second part is just the background. It just has uh, transform, sprite renderer, and also box collider. Neither one of the triggers because we don't want them to go through each other. This is meant to be a platform and this is your character who's jumping around. So let's take a look at the code. Basically uh, we have the key code to check for a jump and then we have a variable to see uh, if the character is in mid jump or not. So there's actually two parts to this. There's going to be a variable that uh, is going to be set manually to yes or to no, indicating if they're in mid jump or not. And there's also going to be a check to see if the character has any velocity. So as you can see, this is pretty straightforward. And this is where everything happens. So if input dot get key down jump key and it's important you need to use either get key down or get key up if you use just get key you don't specify down or up then what happens is you basically have like a rapid fire scenario okay so input dot get key down and then the variable that you chose up here jump key so if that's true and if this variable mid jump which starts off as no is equal to no, then you want to make the character jump. How do you make it jump? You just use get component, rigid body 2D velocity, and you're setting that vertical velocity. And then you, and this is what's really important, mid jump equals yes. Because if you don't have this, let's just remark that out, and you'll see what will happen is they'll keep jumping. So that's like what the person demonstrated to me. Their character is kind of floating about. So what we do is we then, as I said, you're checking to see first if, well, not just first, but you're checking both to see if the jump key is impressed and that they are not jumping. If they are jumping, then you need to set this to yes so this doesn't work anymore. So now that it's set to yes, And you can hear me banging away on the space key, and yet they're only doing a single jump. So that's the first part of it. You have to manually keep track as to whether or not they're jumping. The second thing you you do is this: get component rigid body 2D velocity y is equal to zero. So here you're setting the velocity to five. What this is saying is like okay if that velocity has returned to zero then they're no longer jumping mid jump should be set back to no so I'll show you what happens if that doesn't happen they'll basically jump once and then not again oh, sorry we actually have to remark that out as well see one jump and now it won't jump again and the reason for it is because this 
is continually not being met because it was checked uh, it was set to an alternate state and then then not changed back so now that we add this it will work and there we go again so you can hear that I'm banging on the keyboard and yet it's only doing a single jump it won't let it jump any sooner than when it's uh, motionless technically you probably don't need this what you'd have to do is you'd combine this and this. You would check to see if the uh, Y velocity is set to zero. So let's take a look at that just to give you an alternate way of doing it. Because as I like to say, um, I'm not showing you the only way. I'm not showing you necessarily the best way. I'm just showing you a way for demonstrative purposes, for instructional purposes, and then uh, it's certainly great if you can actually find something better than what I did. It's really just a, a starting point. Okay, so what we do is we're going to get rid of this, and we're going to instead take this, Make sure we have enough parentheses. So what this says is, let's do less than because say your character is falling. Well, if you're falling, you probably don't want them to do a mid jump, unless you have a rocket pack and at that point, you know, uh, some kind of jet pack. And now you get into a real complex kind of situation. So we're going to presume that there is uh, no mid air jumping when you're falling. There isn't any kind of uh, 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 propulsion. So like I said just combining the two if the jump key is pressed and the velocity is uh, actually no it should be just equal zero if we do less than that would allow for the propulsion sorry I'm kind of doing this on the fly All right and then we can get rid of this I think that should do it Yep. Perfect. You can hear I'm banging on the key, and yet it's only doing a single jump. So there you go. There are two ways to do it. One, you could manually have a variable track whether or not your character is jumping. Or two, you can look for velocity. But as I said, there are issues where if your character is falling, um, uh, this also might cause, well, Velocity is really checked either way, so in either case, uh, this has to be absolutely zero in order for your character to jump. So uh, if your character's falling, uh, they won't be able to jump. So that should about do it. So either way, you can either use the variable or you can just check for velocity, whichever one you feel is better. Uh, for some, this is really a mouthful, not to mention that there might be some other reason why you want to track if your character is jumping because this isn't visible to a another um, uh, object whereas if you say turn this into a static variable then some other object could check to see if you're jumping so again neither one is really better it all depends what you're trying to do so you could if this is a static variable maybe there's an enemy that will jump when you're not jumping or they'll slide at you if you're not jumping so again it all depends what you're trying to do both has strengths and weaknesses. So that should about do it.